All right, faith is your servant. Now, the thing that releases faith is your tongue. James chapter 3 talks about big ships and big horses, yet we tell them where to go. We're the one that makes the decision. Well, faith is your servant, and it can't tell you what you can and cannot have. All it can do is bring to pass what you believe in your heart and say with your mouth, because Jesus said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast to sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. you got to say it three times more than you believe it, because it's released by your words. In fact, I don't have time to do a in-depth teaching on it today, but the angels hearken unto the voice of the word of God, but they hearken to that voice of God's word as it comes out of your mouth. My needs are met. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches, not according to my needs. Wealth and riches are in my house. I call money. I've done this before, but you know, you call the dog when he's not there. You don't go out there and say, oh man, the dog's gone. You know, it must not be the will of God for me to have a dog. No, you call him and he'll come running over from the neighbors and usually bring some other dogs with him because he knows he's going to get fed. Well, your faith is like that. You call money, you call blessings, you call your children a blessing rather than my God, what am I going to do with these kids now? No, don't say that. You're snared by the words of your mouth and your tongue says, Sets on fire the course of nature. God gave you faith so that you can control the future. So get to talking the word. Begin to say what you desire, and that's the things you're going to have. So have a great day. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.